Hey folks, it's Miss Valky again here today. So I today am going to unbox a TP-Link uh, 150 megabits uh, wireless N nano router. This is a handy little travel router that I purchased because I'm going to be staying at a hotel room that only has wired internet access and has no wireless. So what this will do for me, I'll uh, plug in the LAN port from the hotel um, wired internet connection and I could create my own wireless hotspot within the hotel room. This was around 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, you can check the, for the latest price on Amazon, but pretty cheap alternative to having a hotel room without Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to unbox this and do a little setup demo. All right, so first thing we do, get this out of the box. So what we cut is packaging. Uh, yes, we get packaging and out pops a little tiny wireless router. He's a little baby router. He's so cute. All right, so let's suck the box aside. And what we have here is the actual device. It's pretty small, pretty handy, easy to use. We've got, if I can zoom on on this. All right, sorry, let me get that camp focusing. There we go, great. So now we've got uh, a LAN WAN port. That's where I'm going to plug in the hotel wired internet. Got a power off a of USB and a little reset button. Inside the box we have a little standard Ethernet cable. Nice for travel. We also have a USB cable for the charging. And that's with the little micro USB at one end. And finally the actual charger which we'll use to power the device. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this up. All right, and inside as well, we have a manual in Spanish, Spanish language manual, in case you're interested. Got a quick install guide in English and a little resource CD, which I wouldn't know what's on it, but we'll take a look. All right, so let me turn now to my computer and get this bad boy set up. So basically, I'm going to go ahead, power this up, and I will be back when I've hooked all this up to my current setup. Okay, folks, I'm back. So here we've got the box. We'll put that out of the way. And we've got our little TDP link router. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the power cable that came with the unit. I've hooked it up to power at the other end. It's on. Sturdy light comes on. And while it's preparing itself, I'm also going to connect to my LAN. So in the case of you're using this in a hotel, simply this is going to be your power cable from your hotel power outlet and the USB port. And this is going to be a little cable that will go, um, Ethernet cable go from the hotel uh, wired internet port to this device. Um, again, they've included this little white cable, but of course I've got not enough room here at home to use that, so I'm just using my own. Okay, now that the device has turned a solid green on the router, I'm going to go and look for it amongst the million different SSID numbers here in my apartment building, and we're looking for the TP link. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now, they've cleverly put the password, which is already integrated into the unit, on a little sticker that is on the unit. So I am going to enter my password. And if you're hard of seeing, then you might want to get somebody to help you with this because the password is rather small on the label, but it's there and it works. All right, we're going to join that network. 
and looks like it's happy. So if I look here and I type in to, let's just say my favorite subject, cats, and it looks like we have internet access. And we can always look up the Wikipedia entry on cats. And you will see that I am getting internet connection to my Mac laptop with a TP link. Great. So the next step is really optional. If you're going to a hotel room, this is really all you need to do. Now, if you want to customize the unit and have something other than TP link, what is it? TP link 349.3E3A or something else, according to your particular model, you can go ahead and customize that. So we're going to go to our web browser and select TP link login dot net. And okay, it's going to ask me for a username and password again. Now the default is usually admin. Username admin, password admin. And obviously, if you're into internet security, that needs to be changed. Because we don't like to use default passwords. So I'll go to the quick setup. And quick setup, tell you how to create an account. Yeah. Sure. I'm more of a not a quick setup kind of person. So I'm just going to go ahead and go straight to my wireless settings. I'm going to select something else. So this is your SSID. If you're not familiar with setting up wireless routers, this is basically what your iPad or iPhone or computer will see when they tug down this list. This is the name that appears. So I'm going to make this something more fun just to be kind of passive aggressive with my other hotel guests. I'll select that. Channel, auto, mode, these are all fine. Keep on the defaults. Okay, now it wants me to reboot, but I'd actually rather go fix up my security next. All right, so these are our security settings and obviously it's already given me my default, which is entered on my um, sticker on the actual unit itself. I'm going to go ahead and change this. You don't need to because it's on your piece of hardware. Sometimes it might be better just to leave it as a password on your hardware, so if you're traveling you don't forget it. But if you're like me, and you're used to a certain password, you can go ahead and enter that. Just remember that you've changed the password. All right, now it's been telling me multiple times that it wants to reboot, which is fine. I will click here to reboot. And click again to reboot. Okay. Now the router's rebooting, taking into account all of my new settings. Okay, now, because it changed the password, it, as you can see, booted me off the Wi-Fi. And I'm going to go find my SSID that I changed it to, so now I've changed the, the SSID so it looks a little bit different. It's a little more passive-aggressive, and I will enter my new password, and join. Hmm. Try that again. All right. So now we are connected. I'm just going to go back here and refresh this page. It's just the status version. Great. Looks like it's got my SSID and all my settings. And we're done. This is pretty much it. So now I've selected my own SSID. So when I'm in my hotel room, I will see this on my iPad, iPhone, or anything other family device that you've got, your Android device. You'll be looking for this. 
you'll be entering in the new password that you entered if you chose to change the password from what's printed on the sticker on the unit. And the password that's uh, on the sticker on the unit might be handy, but it's a little bit difficult. If you like have one that you remember well, then you can go ahead and change it. Just don't forget what you changed it to. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions or post any comments here, and I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot.